Hello dear wonderful friends. Welcome back here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Please come join with me as I'm going to show you very easy type of cooking. <laughs> okay, here in my little kitchen cooking and baking. They're always um, very easy and it's for fun sharing and learning. Okay, so to fry my fish, I'm using canola oil okay there you go so preheat your frying pan and so i have here four gutted and washed fish the type of fish i am using is hasa hasa so you can find this in any asian store sometimes walmart carries this one and also at the filipino store and you know some other grocery stores they have this kind of fish okay now I try to make a slit so that it will be cooked uh, fair enough. <laughs> so I use seasoning salt or you can use uh, the regular salt, the iodized salt. You don't really need to add uh, seasoned salt. That's very, very optional type of salt. Okay, so using my tongs as my frying ga gadget. <laughs> Okay, there you go. So I have to fry this one. Until this will become golden brown. You can use some other type of fish, like you can use bangus, tilapia, pompano, um, lapo lapo or some other bigger fish and so but this kind of fish this is my only available in my in my stock <laughs> okay what are the very very basic ingredients that we have oh by the way after frying the fish i'll have to put that or place that into my paper towel okay that's paper towel with my plate so that the excess oil will be drained what are the very basic ingredients? I have here sweet red peppers. I use a half only of the large size of red peppers. You can use green peppers, yellow or orange. And I'm using red um, cooking onions, some garlic strips of ginger, and also this lemon. So I try to slice one large cute one large yellow lemon you can use lime you can also use lemon cito but that can be very very optional friends and so i have here sweet cherry tomatoes i would like to say thank you to my good friend emily uh emily frank for giving me this sweet cherry tomatoes from her garden so it's really really sweet and thanks to her but by the way friends happy birthday to the september celebrants special shout out or special greetings goes to my good friend miss susan marcelo oil happy birthday my dear bff best friends forever i miss you <laughs> i hope you have a fantastic day and more years to celebrate in your birthday okay wonderful friends for a savoring enhancer i'm just using black pepper you can use white pepper if you want and also this seasoning salt now since we added salt into our fish we can still add generous amount of salt because this one it's a big portion and also this one um it is very acidic so we need to savor it but it depends upon uh, your taste buds adding salt and pepper wonderful friends okay remember i use canola oil so whatever oil you have available in your pantry simply you can go ahead so this uh dish we are going to have this for our supper and i make sure that i have my rice because rice is very very essential for every filipino family <laughs> well not only filipino but some asian family who is um who loves to eat rice <laughs> okay wonderful friends it's not really necessary that you will be using seasoning salt 
that's still salt they just added some uh, savoring like uh, other spices now I you can use fine salt or iodized salt for your savoring enhancer you can also use some patties to savor your dish but I ran out of patties so tomorrow I might be able to get some groceries so I should remember my patties or fish sauce okay there you go wonderful friends our flame should just be over medium high heat so that our fish will um, be fried gradually and crispy I should say wonderful friends to the point that you don't really have yellow lemon no need to worry just you can slice some celery or you can add some carrots and you can also garnish that towards the end like sibuyas dahon or green onions you have always the choice you can also add some pineapple tidbits or pineapple chunks so you can add a little bit of the juice into your spices or your lamas. Okay, wonderful friends. This is quite done. So I have to take this and drain it into my paper towel. Okay, wonderful friends, the first uh, thing that I'm going to saute will be our uh, ginger and I want it a little bit toasty. I use the same oil. Okay, after a few seconds in sauteing our lovely, delicious ginger i am going to add my red cooking onions sauteing doesn't really take that long in the process of doing it you can use scallions or green onions or the spring onions that's perfectly fine the white part and towards the end the green part you can always try to garnish that once your dish is done okay after that wonderful friends i am going to add my garlic lemon and my red pepper all together so so okay this maybe for one minute until spices are properly infused or malata siya. The aroma is very, very great. <laughs> okay, friends, after one minute, I am going to add my one pound or one half kilo of sweet cherry tomatoes from my good friend Emily. <laughs> okay, there you go. And I'll have to add a little bit more of um seasoned salt and also black pepper adding black pepper and salt depends upon your taste buds if you're very health conscious you can always try to eliminate a few drops or a few dash of um, your savoring enhancer so i am going to infuse this let this be done simmer for maybe three minutes then we can cover this one or let it be this way that's perfectly fine okay wonderful friends i have here one 
half cup of 100% orange juice. You can use pineapple juice if you want. Well, that's very, very optional, my wonderful friends. So let it simmer for three minutes. Okay, wonderful friends, next is I am going to add at least two tablespoons of white sugar. You can use brown sugar. Well, again, you have to try to taste it prior to adding, but the sugar balances the taste. It also normalizes or neutralizes the sweet and the sour and the tangy taste. Okay, wonderful friends. So simmer for another minute or so so friends the sugar uh, it balanced the acidity of the lemon and the tomato so i have to add my isda or my fried indian mackerel or the hasa hasa This is very, very delicious. I want you to try this. And so easy to make. It's not really that very fancy, but you can always try to eliminate some of uh, the spices that I added. Because I added lots. That's the only way when I cook. I like lots and lots of spices. It gives more savor. So once again, I would like to thank you, wonderful friends, for watching La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. So stay tuned for more cookings and bakings here at my little kitchen. So bye for now. So once again, happy birthday to my beautiful friend. I miss you, Miss Susan. Susan Marcelino Oy. I hope you have a fantastic day. And also to the September celebrants, whoever you are, happy, happy birthday. This uh, simple dish is quite um, designated to all the birthday celebrants, especially to Susan. Stay tuned, wonderful friends. So, voila, I have to turn off my flame. Bye for now. I hope you have fun here at my little kitchen. This is your home cook, Badila Arnie, saying you, daghan kaing salamat.